Welcome ladies and gentlemen, we haven't had any news or updates on Dune Part 2 or the potential third movie, Messiah, uh, for some time. But we've got an update you here. So, one, the script for Dune Messiah is reportedly almost finished from Denis Villeneuve himself. And he also reveals the runtime for Part 2. Now, I think this is interesting for a few reasons because... Previously, or kind of previous reports, previous statements from Denis, wasn't out and out that Dune Messiah was 100% confirmed. There were sort of rumours and rumblings and a, a massive hope and a dream that it was going to happen. And then that sort of manifested itself a little bit more seriously. And now the fact that he's basically finished the script, I, I mean, it would indicate that it's pretty much done, I would say. So, yeah, there you go. I mean, it's interesting. I quite liked Dune Part 1. I'm looking forward to Dune Part 2, and it's a shame that they chose to delay it. So, we'll have to wait and see, obviously. But I think it will live up to the hype, uh, for those that enjoyed the first one at the very least. So, let's take a look. Uh, hit subscribe if you are new here, and enjoy content such as this. So, Dune Part 2, director uh, Denis Villeneuve earlier this year confirmed... That, if given the opportunity, he would want to make a third movie. But there was never an actual confirmation it was going to happen. It was very odd, you know. I, I, I think they were kind of floating the idea by the sounds of it. So the Messiah adaptation coming to fruition would likely depend on how successful part two proves to be. Which is true. Uh, and the thing about this is, is that they're probably... I mean, they don't have anything to actually to go by because the first one was released at a time where uh, HBO Max basically took it and, and released it on that platform. There was an issue with Legendary uh, being very upset and annoyed with Warner Brothers for that because it wasn't made by Warner Brothers. It was actually made by Legendary and Warner Brothers was the distributing studio. Warner Brothers, uh, you know, gave 25% stake in uh, the financial aspect of it, but they didn't make it. It's actually a legendary production. So legendary at the moment doesn't actually have anything to go by. Like solid numbers. They don't actually know how this film will fare. They just don't. Um, you know, they say this article says only the first film did very well. Yes and no. Uh, I mean, it obviously did well enough for them to green light the second. But did it do massively well in terms of just raw box office figures no not massively so they don't really know how this is going to play out so it does seem to me that uh, they floated the idea i guess because I mean, they, they've got no idea how part two is going to go um i side note i actually think it'll do okay and the reason why is i think people are sick of uh sort of constant regurgitation of cape films that's what i think anyway so, I do think that this will actually do pretty well. Uh, but he spoke uh, with the South Korean press over the weekend. And he said that Dune Messiah is being written right now. The and this is, this is the, yeah, the, the screenplay. This is what's interesting. The screenplay is almost finished. But it is not finished. It will take a little time. There's a dream of making a third movie. It would make absolute sense to me. I mean... The fact that you're pouring money into making a screenplay. And these are not short, thrifty little things to do. I mean, it costs money to make screenplays, be revised time and time again. Normally people get paid handsomely, not massively, but handsomely for a screenplay. So why would they be pouring money into that if they're not going to make it? And it does make sense to make a third one, I think, personally. If it's successful anyway. Now, uh, he does say the following. I don't know exactly when I will go back to Arrakis, he added. I might make a detour before, uh, just to go away from the sun. For my mental sanity, I might do something in between. But my dream would be to go a last time on this planet that I love. I do like Denis. A very theatrical sort of talker. Uh, and a great director, I think. Personally. Again, I know a lot of people don't. A lot of people have issues with his stuff. Um, but I enjoy his work a lot, actually. 
Now, interestingly, he does say part two is going to be a better movie than the first one. So he said the following. For me, this film is much better than part one. There's something more alive in it. There's a relationship to the characters. I was trying to reach for an intensity and a quality of emotions that I didn't reach with part one, that I did reach with part two. I'm not saying the film was perfect, but I'm much more happy with part two than I was with part one. I cannot wait to share it with the fans and the moviegoers. Massively positive. So, he, he, you know, it's, it's difficult to say because part one was not a complete film, right? It's not a complete story. Uh, and then breaking it down into two parts makes sense because it's just so bloody long. It's a lot to tell. But I do think part one left people feeling, I don't know, a bit disjointed from the story, but displaced from it all. So part two, I think inevitably, because it's going to feel more like a complete story, because it is a more complete story, uh, was always going to be better. But hearing this from Denis makes me, yeah, pretty confident, actually, to be honest. It makes me much, much happier, uh, much more excited for this, uh, I think. Again, what do you think? Are you excited for this? Does this change your thoughts? Again, he's going to be positive about his own movie. I accept that. But the runtime has also now been revealed. Uh, it's going to be longer than the first movie, allegedly, as well. So, this is a, a listing. So, the official Dune Part 2 runtime is 2 hours 46 minutes, according to Japanese film rating organization. 2 hours, 40, two, two hours 46 minutes? I mean, that's like, uh, you know, that's Blade Runner 2049 uh, territory. Which, I, I'm fine with a film of that kind of runtime. I don't mind. Uh, I thoroughly enjoyed Blade Runner 2049 in theatres. Uh, and this kind of movie, I think as audiences, we're getting a little bit more, I don't know, comfortable with these longer run times by the looks of it all. I mean, I, you just got to look at the lay of the land to, to see that longer films are doing better and better in theatres. Uh, despite TikTok rotting people's brains uh, and their attention spans. So... Denis Villeneuve singing his second film's praises and also downplaying his first one. Uh, and also hoping to make Dune Messiah. What do we think? Yay? Nay? Are we happy with this news? I'd love to hear your thoughts. So if you want to stay up to date on the world of pop culture, movie news and movie reviews, then please do hit subscribe. I've just released my personal review of Godzilla Minus One. Cheers guys, take care, bye bye now.